Welcome to another... Hi! Hi! Welcome to another episode of Angelina the Adventurer. This time we are going to the Del Coronado Hotel on San Diego's Coronado Island. This was a star-studded event in 1958 when MGM's blockbuster film, Some Like It Hot, was filmed. It starred Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. We're going to go to some of the major locations where they filmed, played, and palled around. Our journey to the location of the filming of Some Like It Hot begins in San Diego now. I just wanted to show you this. That is a swimming pool. Isn't that amazing? And that is offered to us by Brownstone Apartments. Now leasing. And there's their phone number. This just in. The name of that apartment building is actually Brownstone. This is Little Italy. Not Little Italy, Italy. Isn't that pretty? But Little Italy, San Diego. I'm going to drop off my luggage at home and then I'm going to uh, head on over to Del Coronado and show you the Coronado Hotel. and uh, the uh, famous uh, postings um, of where Marilyn filmed with Tony Curtis in Some Like It Hot. And I am sitting in the shade. I have reached my destination, which is straight ahead, which is Santa Fe Station. So, here we go. And here is my gorgeous reward. Yay! For walking all this way to the cool and shady Santa Fe. All the way. The Santa Fe train station was conceived and built from 1914 to 1915 for the San Diego 1916 Exposition. The Exposition was the antithesis of the World Fair. In other words, it was a big deal. You see, back in 1916, they didn't have computers and internet. If you wanted to know about something or see something in technology, art, entertainment, fashion, food, music, dance, or anything. It didn't come to you. You had to go to it. The Santa Fe Depot station offers transportation of both the Amtrak train and the San Diego Metro. I come here often for the use of the Metro. Although most San Diegans call these cars trolley cars, myself included, it is just a euphemism, as there were once actually trolley cars, uh, much like the ones in San Francisco, in San Diego. But that's an entirely other vlog, as these metro uh, cars that we call trolley cars are as speedy, streamlined, and ultra-modern as any of the metro systems in any of the big cities in the world. When you do come to San Diego, check out La Jolla, 
Poway and Imperial Beach. Each represents a different type of beauty that San Diego has to offer. And they're all so far away from each other that you'll be able to see everything in between. While you see the pictures of these first This place has special meaning for me too. I'm going to tell when you when I was a, a kid, my mom used to me. drive my dad down here when my he was father leaving worked for, for a business trip. One time, he was even invited to Mission Control in Huntsville, Alabama for a launching. My father, Oliver Waltman Arden, designed the circuitry and circuit boards for many a NASA project vessel and module. That's right, I'm a NASA kid. So on these mornings, my mom and dad would kiss goodbye from the front seat. He would step out of the car and I remember admiring him in his black coat and fedora, luggage in hand, and thinking to myself, how handsome he is. That's my daddy. And then he would wave at both of us, and we would stay parked until he walked away and we couldn't see him anymore already looking forward to when he would return. I love you, Daddy. I'm sure many a wonderful childhood memory and adult memory, being on vacation or even a honeymoon, are associated with this station. And if and when you come to San Diego and you come to the Santa Fe train depot station, you can make and keep some of those memories, too. across from Santa Fe, I keep wanting to say Union, <laughs> but here that's in Los Angeles. And here we are across from the Santa Fe train station and, and uh, the uh, train that you just saw is actually a metro train. Should be along any minute now. Next stop, Coronado Island. This is what we're having for lunch. It is a fish taco. And I love this place. I come here all the time. I'll show you the sign on the way out. Here's the name of the place. It's called Azteca. Awesome, Azteca. Well, hello, friends. Today we are currently on the corner of Broadway and Ash, and that is right where we are going to be catching the bus, the 901, that will take us to Del Coronado uh, for our visit with Marilyn Monroe during the filming of Some Like It Hot with Marilyn Monroe, Tony Curtis, and Jack Lemmon. I live about a mile away from here, and so I walked down to this local Dunkin' Donuts and I purchased this little beauty, my reward for my walk. As you know, I always do purchase an iced coffee. This is a butter pecan iced coffee. I've never tried that one before. It's pretty good. And um, I asked them to use whole milk. I believe in the power of whole milk. It creates synapses in the brain. Did you know that? I also wore my lipstick red uh, purse in honor of Marilyn today with a little gray cardigan. And can you see these? These are kind of splashy. First I have to run an errand at Jimbo's Organic Market. Hi. 
And we're done, and now some fun. This is a surfboard scene that Horton Plaza has set up outside Jimbo's for a photo op, and I couldn't resist. No, thank you. And here's the winning selfie. So now look where we are. Okay, we're at the bus stop and the purple arrow shows where we are and the red arrow shows our destination. Yay! Now that building that we're looking at across the street is the Grant Hotel, the beautiful glamorous Grant Hotel. Uh, it was built in 1910 and it has one of the most beautiful lobbies that I have seen anywhere. It is, um, it has gigantic, gorgeous chandeliers that shine like diamonds. In fact, this photograph really doesn't do them justice, and this photograph is very beautiful. People of notoriety stay here, and always have, from movie stars to presidents of the United States. Once the pandemic is over, it's worth staying here. It's beautiful. You'll be glad you did. For the rest of this episode, please go to part two. Thank you.